you go and do those two movies, and you know you're still directing. And I didn't realize this until I started actually, you know, going through and doing research before this interview. You directed one of my all-time favorite movies, Deep Cover. Thank you. Thank you. I had no idea all these years. I, I've, I've been such a mega fan of that movie. I, I'll be honest. I, I've said this before. I actually got inspired. I mean, not in a good way, obviously, but in a. I actually got inspired to uh, to actually mess around with, with drug dealing after watching that movie. Wow. Wow. Watching that movie, I had a friend that was involved in some street shit, and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm, I'll be the, the white business guy, and he's the, the street guy, and I'm going to do the deep cover thing, and he ripped me off right away, and uh, I lost a bunch of money, and that was the end of my drug dealing career. But well, <laughs> I understand. It was, uh, it gave, the movie gave insight, but you know it was based on a book. Yeah, I heard about that. And the, the, the guy who wrote the book, you know, inspired the movie, Henry Bean, you know, read the book and then wrote the film based upon the book. But this was a guy, and actually was in um, the service, and he used to go after what they called the mules on the street that sold the drugs. Mm -hmm. But he asked himself one day, wait a minute, um, they're not growing it. They're not importing it. Uh, why don't I look at the guys that are growing it and importing it? So he went to the high-ups above him, and they told him, to stop, and he didn't, and he got fired. Well, it, it was a hell of a performance. Uh, Lawrence Fishburne and, uh, I guess, Jeff Goldblum? Jeff Goldblum, Clarence Williams from the third. Some really good people. I was very fortunate, you know, to get those guys. Hell of a, hell of a movie. Thank you. But, but what made that movie even more special as a, as a hip-hop fan was... Dr. Dre did the score. Dre and Snoop. Right. Well, well Dre, Dre did the score and Snoop, Dre and Snoop did the, the single. That's right. You know, deep cover. And, and this was kind of an interesting time because this was after Dre had broken up with, with Easy e and left Ruthless Records. That's right. And, and no one, we hadn't actually heard any new music from Dre in, I think, a couple of years or something because he was going through contract disputes and everything else like that. And the first time you heard new music from Dre was Deep Cover. Mm -hmm. Did you and Dre already know each other no. when you when you no. brought him in? No, Not I didn't know him. I just knew his music and his work. Okay. And I really liked um, a lot of the lyrics. You know, they were very controversial at the time, but they, you know, um, powerful stuff. And I wanted that kind of feeling to the film. And so that's why I brought him in. Yeah, that was, I think, the only time that Dre actually scored a movie. I don't know if he actually did another score before or after. Well, he didn't really score the entire film. He, he lent that music to it, and the composer, I forgot his name now, um, really took that, those themes and wove it through the film. Ah, okay. Okay, but on the soundtrack... That was when Dr. Dre finally came back yes. with, a new art, with a new artist named Snoop Doggy Dog. Snoop Doggy Dog. When you first heard it, I remember me and my friends are like, oh yeah, this is the next big mm -hmm. rap star right here. Here, here we go. Like, right. <laughs> Dre, Dre's about to do it all over again. Mm -hmm. And, and I, because the deep cover soundtrack came out first. And I guess, you know, I, I remember the soundtrack, Dre kind of had some of his like new artists kind of sprinkled in and, and stuff like that. And then after that, that's when the chronic came out. Right. And then it was just like forget it. That Took was off. like Yeah, it was it was the biggest thing in the world. But but Deep Cover was actually what launched mm -hmm. that that whole movement. Foundation. Did you know how big it was gonna be when he actually submitted all these songs no. and everything? I thought none of us did, you know. It, we, we we had passion for the film and its message, but in terms of it blowing up like that. Uh, I think it was New Line that did it at that time. And I don't even know if um, New Line knew that, but it was, it was one of the, for me, one of the most satisfying experiences for me as a director, working with that talent and the theme itself and Dre and everybody. It was very rewarding. 
Yeah, no, every every character in that movie was a standout. Even the uh, the Spanish dude, you know, who uh, who beat that guy to death in the beginning. Yes, yes. And uh, yeah, man, that was just a that was a masterpiece. Um, Thank you. Because I looked through some of the other movies that you directed, like Rage in Harlem and Hoodlum and stuff like that. But I would say Far and Beyond that was to me your best work. So glad you liked it as a director. Thank you.